In this lesson, I want you to learn how to convert numbers from base 2 to base 10. And so we have some examples here. Convert the following numbers to base 10 or to decimal form. Okay, these are binary numbers. Now we, we must understand that in base 2 there are only two numbers. There's only 0 and 1. And uh, this is why numbers look like this. So we are now going to convert these numbers to, uh, to, base, uh, to base 10. So, converting numbers to base 10 is uh, something that is not very difficult. Eh? So, we'll start with the first question here, which is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2. Okay, so, um, the easiest way to, co to, co to convert this number to base 10 is just to draw up a grid of numbers, a box. Here it is. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. So we are going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we do this. Okay, so we'll write these numbers in the top boxes, the boxes on top here. So we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 there. And then, since we are converting from base 2 to base 10, we are going to multiply these numbers starting from the, uh, from the right-hand side, this side where, where we have 0, uh, by powers of, of 2. Okay, powers of 2. So, we start with a 1 there. We put a 1, and then we, we start multiplying uh, these numbers by 2. So, 2 times 1 here, you are going to have a 2 here. 2 times 2, you are going to have a 4 here. 2 times... Two, 2 times 4 here, you are going to have 8. 2 times 8, you are going to have 16 here. 2 times 16, you have 32 here. Okay, so these are powers of 2 here. The first one is 2 to the power 0. This one is 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power uh, 2, 2 to the power 3, just like that, you, you increase. Okay, so this is basically what we do. Here, on in the first um, column here, just down here, uh, you put a 1 here, which is 2 to the power 0. And then we, we can multiply now here and add the numbers. Okay, so 1 times 0 here. Okay, we can even start from the, from the first one here. 32 times 1, we have 32 plus 16 times 1 there, we have 16 plus 8 times 0 there, you have 0 plus 4 times 1, you have 4. 2 times 1, you have 2 plus 1 times 0 there, you have 0. So you multiply the, the bottom number by the top number. And so when we add all these numbers here, we are going to have 32 plus 16, uh, which is 48, plus 0, which is just 48, plus 8, we have 52, plus 2, we have 54, plus 0, 54. And so therefore, our answer is 54 in base 10. Okay, we can even put 10 here, base 10. Okay, so this is uh, how we convert to, uh, to base 10. Okay, so this is what you do when you have um, uh, numbers that do not have a decimal point. Now, what about uh, the second example? Okay, let's go to the second example. So there's a different way of doing it. But we'll also count uh, the numbers that we have here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are going to create uh, a grid also for that one. Five numbers. Okay. So one, two, three, four. Okay. So, aha. Uh -huh. So for the first uh, numbers, these numbers that come just uh, um, just before the decimal point, you create a grid for them and then you write them on top. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to have one, zero, zero. And then here you have one and another one here. Okay, even these numbers, this side, we also create a, a grid for them. There are three. So, there are three of them. I'll just separate the grids. I'll do this. Okay, so, and then after doing this, you can put the, the three numbers on top here. One, two, three. Okay, you can even put the point there because there's a point there. Okay, so, for, for the numbers here that I've underlined here, we do it like the way we did on top here. So for the first number on the right here, we put a 1. And then we start multiplying times 2. So 2 times 1 here, you have 2. 
2 times 2, we are going to have 4. 4 times 2, we are going to have 8. 8 times 2, we have 16. Okay, this is 16 here. And then for, for the numbers on this other side, after the decimal point, for these ones, uh, we are going to be uh, dividing. Okay, so for the first one here, we are going to have dividing by 2. So for the first one here, we are going to have um, 0 0.5. Okay, 0 0.5. So you divide 1, you divide by 2, you have 0 0.5. And then for the next one here, you divide this 0 0.5. So 0 0.5 divided by 2, you end up with 0 0.25. So here you have 0 0.25. And then for the next one, again, you divide this 0 0.25 by 2. You are going to have 0 0.125. So here you are going to have 0 0.125 at the end there. Okay. Um, and then we can multiply now. So we are going to have 16 times 1 here. We have 16 plus 8 times 0, which is 0, plus 4 times 0, we have 0. 2 times 1 here, you have 2. Plus 1 times 1, you have a 1 here. Okay? And then uh, this side, we also do the same. 0 0.5 times 1, you have 0 0.5. Plus, okay, let me write it like this. 0 0.25 times 1, we have 0 0.25. And then 0 0.125 times 1, we have 0 0.125. Okay, so we are going to add these numbers here. Eh? So this side, when we add 16 plus 0 plus 0, this is 16 plus 2, this is 18 plus 1, we have 19. And then on this side here, for this one here, we are going to have 5 here, 5 plus 2, we have 7, 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1, we have 8. Point, and then a, a 0 here. Okay, and then now we add these two numbers, this one and this one here. Okay, now for the sake of my grade nines, uh, I'll add for, for them. Otherwise, uh, I could have just written the answer here. So it's 19. And since we are adding plus a decimal number, 0 0.875, we are going to have 0 0.19.0 with 1, 2, 3. Again here, and then we add this one here, 0 0.875. And so when we add these two, we are going to have 19.8. 7, 5 as our, um, uh, our answer, uh, our answer for, for this one. So uh, let's go to the next one just to, to concretize what we have done on part B, okay? Just to grasp the concept that we have used on part B. Okay, so um, here is uh, our, our second part. Our second part says uh, convert 1110.01 base 2 to base 10. Okay, so this is part C. Part C here. So the number that we are converting is this one. 0 0.01. It's in base 2. So we are going to do what we did there. We will count these numbers before the decimal point. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are going to have we are going to have a very nice rectangle here. And then we divide here. Okay, so we have 1 2 and 3 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, this is enough. Okay, and then on this other side, we'll also do the same. We'll also do the same. Okay, we have to make sure that the numbers fit. So we only have two of them here, so we are going to have it like this. So here we are going to have 1, 1, 1, 0. Then this side will have 0, 1. So remember, when you when you are dealing with the the whole part, this part here for this whole number here, you always start from the right here. You put a one, and then you start multiplying this one now by two. So two times one is two. Two times two you have four. Four times two you have eight. So we have eight there. And then on the decimal part, this side after the decimal point, we always start with zero point five. Then we divide by two. We are going to have zero point two. 5. And then we can multiply here. We convert here. We are going to have um, 8 times 1 here, which is 8, plus 4 times 1, we have 4, plus 2 times 1 here, we have 2, plus 1 times 0, which will give us 0. 
Okay, then we do the same. This side, 0 0.5 times 0 is 0. Plus 0 0.25 times 1 is just 0 0.25. Okay, so and then we can add here. So 8 plus 4 is 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 here. This side here, we are going to have 0 0.25. And therefore, our answer in base 10 will be 14.25. This is in base 10. And this marks the end of our lesson. Thank you.